Hello, Nerd World. Johnny R here. Welcome to Alone in the Dark. Oh man, I've been waiting so long for this to come out. <sighs> Alone in the Dark had a really bad history of um, making some not so great games. Although I heard this is a sort of reimagining of the original, so let's check it out. Uh, let's do it old school hard. <laughs> Frog jump scare. I'll explain that later. <laughs> Oops. Oh. oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Kirby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What? exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. All right. Get to choose a character. Uh, Emily Hartwood. Redwood Carnby. Really cool. Um, let's go with Emily. I think I picked her in the original one, too. Really cool. From the sound of it, she doesn't sound armed, so maybe even scarier. Ooh. We're splitting up. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, I do have a gun. Okay. Uh, oh, it's dark. Go way inside the house. Yeah. Car engine. I heard footsteps. Might have been my own. What's that? E. What's this? Is that a lighter or something? Or oh, flashlight. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Can I examine or? Nope. Spider web. Okay, we have flashlight. That's cool. Chains. It's like a workshop of some sort. Okay, just rats. I don't see anyone. Oh, nails. Okay. Uh, lock door, kitchen garden key. Pair of eyes. What's this? Should I be taking those, or? Oh, all right. I mean, they don't exactly belong to me, but whatever. I'm watching you. Don't want to mess with that, though. I remember the original Low in the Dark had, like, some, uh, like, instant death jump scares, so... I'm not going to risk it with that. Looks nice, though. Now, I'm going to confess that my computer isn't the best rig in the world, so... If you see some weird glitches, it's likely my computer. Anything? No? Oh, yeah. A little stutter there. That's okay. Older than Dorsetto. They've built the house around it. <laughs> the tree. Man. What's that? Oh, yeah. That's good. Shift the run. Okay. Nope. Huh. Health drink. I can't go up there. Okay. Um down here then? Medicinal canteen.
Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter Priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around, that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Whoa, that was weird. All right. Uh, noted. Uh, more bullets. Okay. Moving on. Wasn't expecting an extra dialogue there. Yeah, in the old game, they used to have um, people uh, read out the texts and whatnot. Really cool. Uh, refrigerator. Why are there pistol bullets in the refrigerator? Oh, probably cold loaded ammunition. Don't. My joke is stupid. <laughs> well. That, that joke was so dumb, I'm sorry. Uh, just taking all the bullets. Um, Alright. Well, I mean, if, if Jeremy's a threat to himself, I guess it's good to take, you know, take all the ammo and whatnot, so we can't do anything. So that's good. Cool. I know I'm supposed to be letting Mr. Carnby in, but... I imagine I'm going to get a locked door eventually. Okay, what's that? Hmm. What's that for? Ooh. Forbidden knowledge. Yeah, this game does have a... Cthulhu themes. Oh. 
Some sets can't be completed without playing both RB and Emily's campaign. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. A lot of Lovecraftian horror stuff. It's really crazy. But really, really cool. I think. Oh, it was just loading. Okay. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Hmm. All right. Ah, uh, sliding block puzzles. Oh, I hate these. Oh, it's missing a few. That doesn't look safe. Uh, nope. Not that way. All right, fair enough. Miss Hartwood, let's hurry it along. Um, okay. Oh, this is a bathroom. Those weird doors that open and close both ways. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Okay, so I leave. Locked. Wait, no, we entered. Oh, this is where we came in. Where, um, Mr. Carnby is at the door down there. Okay. Oh, what's this? What does it say on it? Uh, I can't see. That's alright. Just taking all their things. Alright, um... Oh. Lottie's Diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Ugh. That can't be safe. Well, anyways, uh, there's a library. Oh. I need the key. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. A hold eye. There we go. Actually, what was that? That's cool. All right, let's go. Whoa. Don't need the key for that. Oh, uh, 
It's this door, right? Oh. Ah, here we go. Wait, don't! Oh. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Oh. Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. Thank you. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. All right. Um, hmm. Nothing really scary yet, you know? Ah, oh. uh, the mirror actually works. Sweet. And creepy. Okay, it's locked. Oh, what's that? Oh, we can talk. What kind of stuff are we looking for? I've never been part of an investigation before. Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes. Okay. Oh, I hate sliding block puzzles. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarraway. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Pierosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest, and I shall weep. How 
did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock, with its astronomical motifs, would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra Wea? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that goes over here. All right. Whew. That's pretty intense, huh? <laughs> All right. Oh. Wait. Okay, this one was easy, okay? <laughs> but I normally hate these types of puzzles because it takes me hours to do them. Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. found this tube as well, should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did...
Okay. Now I think things are going to start getting scary. Bugs on the wall. <sighs> Expecting some creature to jump through the window, if any. Go, 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 go. Run. Oh, ow, what the? Oh, wait, no, I, I need to go that way. Oh, crap. Ow. Okay, I have to fight him. Ow. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Run, 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 run. Glitched out a little bit there, so I can aim very well. Okay. This can't be. Oh. oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, 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 um. Corner store, corner store, yeah. Um. How do I get in? How do I get in? Ding. Bad idea putting it on hard. Whew. Okay. Oh, someone's here. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Emily. Is that you? Dude. Batiste? How did you get here? I was back at Dorsetto. Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. 
Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. Uh. You don't mind if I like look through your stuff, do you? I need ammo. Okay. One bullet. I mean, he's got that axe, so he should be safe. <sighs> and that choke slam. Holy crap. Um. There's no map of this place. Are you staying here? For a while. I want to see if Jeremy shows up. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Okay. So it's just down the street. can't go that way. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I need to get over there. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that was annoying. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, uh, this way, this way, this way. Ah, oh, come on. Oh no. Well, this is a bad idea. What? Leap. Come on, move, move. Ouch, ouch. I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Just go, 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 go. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Okay. Oh, this talisman right there. It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. Can I wear it? Is it gonna protect me? Please? An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Cool. Use the talisman to get back to Dorsetto. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Hmm. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Uh, oh. Okay. Um. 
I'll have to come back here, huh? Okay. Uh, Jeremy's notes. Jeremy's notes. Um. To start. Okay. Um. Do, do, do. Three five eight. Okay. Let's try three five eight. Um. Okay. Um. How do I do this? D. Yeah. Uh, wait. Which way's up? Oh, wait. Duh, stupid. Um, yeah. Right? Maybe? Oh, okay. No, no, no. I got it. Yeah, the pointer's down there. Three. The pointer for this one is... Three, five. And then the pointer for this one is on the inside. Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? Okay, did it work? Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. In that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seems certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man, depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the dark man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's... supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... 
Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. All right. I think that'll be enough for now. That's pretty cool. Now we're back in the real world. Detective Carnby. God, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. Okay, now we'll call it a part here. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Thank you, Miss Hartwood. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool so far. It's really scary, kind of terrible at the combat, but eh, I'll work it out. All right, so this is Johnny R. signing off for the night. Have a good night, everyone.